Yo, what's up, community? Your man, Evil Foot, Metro Manila. <laughs> you know the place. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Bringing you another evil sneaker review. And today we have the Penny One All Star Retro. This is. 2022. Uh, this is a retro of the 1996 sneaker that Anthony Hardaway wore in the All-Star game that year. As always, music is from my homie Anthony Accurate, who is the illest producer ever. So online pickup, I got the wrong size. Definitely dropped the ball, so I'll tell you about that later on. Feet on feet today are, no, they're not taxi. They are royalty. I wish I could say taxi. Still love the sneaker, it's dope. Black laces give it away. <laughs> and as always, at eviltshirtclub.com for the rarest, illest, most villainous t-shirts ever. This is destructive. Yeah, that, that, that's fine, Spike. Listen, Spike, no disrespect, but I'm trying to watch my main man Dismantle the Nick. What's up, Spike? What's up? Hey, Pennant, pass it to Nick. No, 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 not Nick. Horse. Pennant, pass it to Horse. Making his second All Star appearance from the Orlando Magic, Anthony Hardaway. Yo, my man looks locked in, right? <laughs> So this is that infamous 1996 uh, Jordan prank of the All Star game. <laughs> what would you do in that moment, right? Love it. <laughs> Also, there's an interbay based on that face that he made, the expression. Pretty dope. So yeah, this, again, designer is Eric Avar. Uh, online purchase. I'm in such a race against the resellers now. I made a mistake. I did get a size 9, and these sneakers actually fit true to size. Uh, but because I had to go down a half size on the social status penny one, I did the same thing here, trying to think I'm all smart and everything, but, uh, you know, I blew it. <laughs> uh, I've since gone and uh, replaced this sneaker with a 9.5 and uh, I had to ship this back. It's such a headache, I'm telling you. Like if you buy any sneaker from Titan22.com, they act like it's a different company other than Titan22 in general. So like, they act like you can't, you cannot just take your sneaker and exchange it at the retail store, which was a bit of a headache. Uh, but because of the sneaker it is, I was willing to go through all the challenges. So we have the jeweled Nike, in the toe box area, uh, you got your dimples, a lot of dimples here on that foam posit area. Uh, jeweled Nike swoosh here as well with your design on the inside and your hits of Royal here on that run there. New buck upper, cannot forget the pinstripes here. Man, this just sets it off. Like social status totally blew it on their design by not including the Orlando pinstripes. Super dope. Uh, this is an Air Max, so you got your exposed unit here on the hill, which is dope. And one of the best logos, only second to the Jumpman in a lot of circles. Uh, you got the, the one cent or the penny logo here, which is super dope. New buck upper, you see it catches a lot of lint. Mostly blacked out outsole here, the super dope. You got your white Nike swoosh. And then you have more visuals of the air unit uh, technology in there. There's your laces and answers that question I had on the other video. They don't come with a lace lock on the OG colorways. Tissue paper, no shoe tree, which sucks. And I tried to pull this insole out, but it's, it's kind of glued in there. And I, and I knew I had to replace or exchange the sneaker, so I didn't even want to rip it out. Uh, but there you go. It's a blue insole with Nike Air and white. There's your guts. Notice the patterning here for the glue. Uh, then you have your Achilles heel protection right here uh, and this sneaker was designed for like cutters there is your inner label and I, like I said this is a size 9 but these fit true to size so do not get a size 9 uh, based on your social status pick up <laughs> uh, you got your swoosh right here so what do you think of this sneaker super dope to me I cannot wait to wear this but like I told you I had to go through that Extensive exchange policy, I'm not a fan of, but you know, a lot of pickups from Titan 22, but if you guys are watching this video, just a hint for your customer experience, please don't make it such a headache. Don't act like I got this from Adidas or something, right? Uh, so here's your back tab again, your full tab on the hill. That one cent logo is super sexy in the OG colors all together. Uh, this is a dope sneaker, something that I really wanted. I still want the home version and I still want the OG colorways as well. 
uh, but I will stand this here up against the social status. And you can tell like the size is just different, right? The social status just runs super big. I still like the sneaker. I just can't see myself wearing it over this uh, OG colorways, the all-star. The pinstripe set it off and social status kind of dropped the ball. I don't know why they didn't include pinstripes on the tongue. Makes it look kind of cheesy in my opinion. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna kick dirt on it, you know. I still like the sneaker, still rock it. I just don't see myself wearing it over these. Maybe if I don't want to double down, I'll, I'll pull them out still, something like that. But what do you guys think? Yeah, I definitely, I like both outsoles. I can't really say which one I like best, but that all black, white swoosh is sexy, right? Uh, we do have some upcoming releases this week. Uh, we have the Cardinal 7s, so fingers crossed on that. Uh, then followed by the Lost and Found Chicago 1s. Fingers crossed there as well, so wish me luck. I was trying to do my OG colorways thing here, you know. What do you think of this? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Until next time, peace.